thermodynamics let us revise the concepts of calorimetry like heat capacity specific heat latent heat and principle of calorimetry and also to reinforce these concepts i am going to solve some of the problems related to these concepts let us start the revision of calorimetry concepts at the end of this lecture you will get a grip on these concepts that is heat capacity specific heat capacity latent heat and principle of calorimetry let us define the heat capacity it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a given body by 1 degree centigrade or 1 degree kelvin and its formula is c is equal to dq by dt where dq is the amount of heat given dt is the rise in temperature its unit is the its unit is joule per kelvin or calorie per degree centigrade so specific heat the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass by 1 degree centigrade or kelvin is called specific heat capacity and its formula is s is equal to dq by m dt where dq is equal to ms delta t or dt its unit is joule per kg kelvin or calorie per degree centigrade per gram latent heat so the amount of heat required to change the state of unit mass at a constant temperature is called latent heat that is l is equal to dq by m or dq is equal to ml so look at the latent heat of vienna ice so it is the amount of heat required to convert 1 gram of ice at 0 degree to 1 gra 1 gram of hot at 0 degree its value is 80 calorie per gram similarly the latent heat of vaporization it is the amount of heat required to convert 1 gram of water at 100 degree to steam at 100 degree at 180m its value is 540 calorie per gram look at this example where 10 grams of water at 90 degree mixed with 20 grams of water at 20 degree centigrade find the resultant temperature so we can use simple principle of calorimetry that is heat loss is equal to m1 s1 t1 minus t is equal to heat gained by cold system so from this you can find the resultant temperature in this problem where two spheres made of same substance have diameter in the ratio 1 is to 2 we have to find the ratio of their thermal capacities we know that the heat capacity c is equal to product of m and s where m is the mass s is the specific heat since mass is proportional to volume so heat capacity is proportional to volume and volume is proportional to the r cube ready where r is radius so c1 by c2 is equal to r1 by r2 whole cube that is c1 by c2 is 1 is to 8 that is 1 is to 8 in this problem we can get the difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity heat capacity depends on mass and the nature of the material whereas specific heat depends only on the nature of material and independent of mass so in this problem where the amount of heat supplied is 200 joules mass is 25 grams and rise in temperature is 25 to 45 degrees let us find out the heat capacity and specific heat so heat capacity c is equal to dq by dt we can find 300 divided by 20 45 minus 25 we'll get 15 joule per degree centigrade and specific heat is dq by m dt we'll get 600 joule per kg per degree centigrade circuit so is very interesting problem where 1 gram of steam at 100 degree mixed with 1 gram of ice at 0 degree what is the resultant temperature and how much what is formed in this problem 1 gram of steam at 100 degree is added to 1 gram of ice at 0 degree so heat is lost by steam and heat is gained by ice so to melt the ice it takes only 80 calories 1 gram takes 80 calories and to raise the temperature from 0 to 100 100 calories of heat is required so total 180 calories of heat is absorbed from the steam so 180 calories equivalent steam is condensed that is 180 is equal to ms into 540 that is the amount of steam condensed is 1/3 of gram so 2/3 of gram will remain as this 1/3 only will convert into water so resultant temperature is 100 degree centigrade 
so here heat lost by steam is equal to heat gained by ice so when ice melts it absorbs 80 calories of course 1 gram of ice absorbs 80 calories in conversion of the state and during rise of temperature it absorbs 180 100 calories so total 180 calories of heat is absorbed from the steam that means only a part of a steam is condensed into water so that part is given by this m dash so m m dash is equal to one third of a gram so one one by three grams that means out of one gram of steam one third is condensed into water at 100 degree so remaining two third is there so finally 1 plus 1 by 3 grams of water is present at 100 degrees. So resultant temperature is 100, de 100 degrees centigrade and 2 third of steam remains and 4 by 3 grams of water is present in the container. So look at this problem where the specific heat is varying with the temperature and you have to find the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 2 grams of substance from 5 degrees centigrade to 15 degrees centigrade. We know that dQ is equal to ms dt and Q is equal to m into integral of s dt and substitute the value of s and integrate within the limits 5 to 15 you will get 82 calories. So look at this problem where a, a piece of ice that is 2 kg at minus 20 degrees centigrade mixed with 5 kg of water at 20 degrees centigrade and you have to calculate the final mass of the water remaining in the container of course the specific heat of ice is given specific heat of water is given latent heat of fission of ice is also given so here the heat gained by ice during rise of temperature that is 2 kg 2000 grams specific heat is half calorie rise of temperature 20 and the amount of ice melted is m dash is equal to the heat lost by the 5 kg of water when the temperature falls to zero degree so if you solve it you will get m dash is 1 kg so the amount of water is already 5 kg of water is present and 1 kg of ice is melted so total is 6 kg so look at this problem where a mixture of 250 grams of water, 200 grams of ice at 0 degree centigrade kept in a calorimeter whose water equivalent of 50 grams. If 200 grams of steam at 100 degree pass through this mixture, calculate the final temperature and weight of the steam condensed. Here the water equivalent means the product of M and S that is heat capacity. So here, the heat gained by ice during melting 200 into 80, during rise of temperature 200, 200 into 1 into 100 and the heat gained by water when it temperature rises from 0 to 100 is 250 into 1 into 100 and this is the heat gained by calorie meter, calorie, calorie, calorie meter during rise of temperature. So, this is equal to ms into 540. What is ms? The amount of steam condensed into water. So, if you calculate this ms, we will get mass of the steam condensed is 122.2 grams. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.